By my way home, left the meadows right when I said I would. I'll still be home at 9.30 tonight, which is pretty good. Not bad. Did stop for my coffee, latte. I did not get pizza tonight though. I'm getting a sub just down the road. Um, pretty good day today, you know. Uh, I thought Jesse Balbo would be a little short, to be honest. I thought both him and One My Heart Hanover would be fairly short. Um, with the shutdown and lockdown in Ontario, they couldn't get any fast miles. It just with the snow and the ice on our track, we couldn't train them hard. It just not hard enough to simulate any sort of race. So to say they were short were, was an understatement, and that only goes to show how actually how talented and how impressive one my heart Hanover was today this is a filly that was almost five weeks almost five weeks from um, her last meaningful race four weeks and three days or something uh, but a long time you know for, for a horse not to train a three year old this isn't an aged horse where muscle memory kicks in and class you can draw on your class this is a filly that has had one lifetime start that was in June this affiliate hasn't gone a fast mile in over a month, and for her to go out and do what she did, realistically, nothing short of incredible. In, in my mind, nothing short of incredible. So very, very impressed with what I saw today from One My Heart, Heart Hanover. I guess incredible would be winning some sort of stake race. It was impressive. You can't say it wasn't. Very impressed with One My Heart Hanover today. Jesse Balboa, I guess, truthfully raced the way I figured he might. Uh, finished up on the bit, you know, climbing up on the horse in front. He wants to do it. He's a doer. Always has been. So I'm always impressed with Jesse Balbo and what he's overcome. As I said when we began racing him, if you would have asked me and said to me, hey, Jesse Balbo is going to be, you know, a nice horse, I'd be like, you're going to have to show me that one. I was hoping he would. We were putting the work in and we just hadn't really seen the results yet. And the job that Johnny and James did on him. And quite frankly, I'll circle back to that in a second. Uh, for those of you out there that always dig on Mario a little bit, Mario Bergeron had that filly since she came back. Won my heart Hanover. The job that, that him and his crew did was incredible on the filly. She looked great. I couldn't be happier from what I saw today. And the first guy to call me after she raced was Mario Bergeron. So just goes to show you how much he really cares about the horses and how much he wants to see the stable succeed. He did a great job with this filly, and she raced tremendous today. I think a really bright future is in store for uh, for One My Heart Hanover. As I said, James and Johnny did a great job with Jesse Balboa and Shelby that takes care of Jesse Balboa, loves the Colt, um, and he raced well today. You know, he didn't wow anybody, but it's tough to do, you know, when you're a big, growthy Colt like him, to come in, race in the mud, you know, race in, uh, just checking my exit here, right here, I'm supposed to get off. For him to come out, race in the mud, um, being off two and a bit weeks, shipping into a new place, racing in a new style. I was impressed with him also. He did well. And then we went back to Beach Boutique. You know, she's been running in and I said, ah, just put that head pole on tight. Put it on tight. But the problem with putting a head pole on the inside tight is, it is hard to get them in the passing lane. Which I could not. I had to regather and get to the outside and she ended up uh, third, uh, raced decent, raced well to be third. She was actually headed for third halfway down the lane. Like, she was beat for third and came back on. So, uh, happy with Beach Boutique. And then Bottle of Red, I know a lot of people are going to say, Anthony, why didn't you flip her three wide getting into the last turn? Because I know what she's like. And I didn't want, you know, we've been trying to market and advertise this filly and potentially sell this filly. And I didn't want to put her in a position where I would expose her. Three wide in the turn, maybe she gets running in, gets out of gear, doesn't clear that horse in front of me. In hindsight, I would have cleared him, but I didn't know it at the time. And I didn't want to flip her three wide, get hung out three wide around the turn, have her, you know, stall and backpedal down the lane and really put a bad effort in. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to play a conservative, roll the dice. I think I have a shot at third here. She did. She fell a little bit short and raced well also, racing, uh, finished fifth but raced well. So we had a second, a third, and two fifths today, but they raced well. Um, we had somebody message me after Jesse Balboa's race. Somebody had offered us money for Jesse, and we may take that money, but I had somebody message me and say, hey, Anthony, uh, I don't really think we should sell Jesse Balboa. This is a horse that I think, um, you know, has a lot of good, a lot of good in front of him, and he could be right. He could. The problem I have is that if we don't sell our horses, and then we find out that he's just an okay horse, 
there's no there's not going to be anybody looking to buy okay horses in the summer sure there are they walk around with straw hats on and beards all the time but there won't be actual horsemen out there looking to buy into um to buy into uh a jesse belbo or buy a jesse belbo that's just the reality of the situation and i put it as easy as i could for a client saying the rewards for today far outweigh the risks of tomorrow that's easy. That's the easiest way for me to put it. I think it's the fairest way to put it. I like Jesse Balboa, but if we're offered decent money for him, I think it's probably in our best interest to let him go. So um, we had the horses today race. We had the horses qualify yesterday. Uh, a lot of people wondering about the qualifiers, in particular Miss Brampton Beast. They said, ah, she didn't look that good. You may want to look up the lines on the horse that beat her, the horse that won the, the qualifier, the horse that was second in the qualifier these were seasoned open one for sure was one of the best horses over the last little while that was racing in uh, in the meadows in the pennsylvania area uh danny's old horse he won the qualifier in 57 and 4 and he's a 50 you know he took a mark of 48 uh, he's a 50 51 pacer for him to go out and, and win the qualifier in 57 and 3 or 4 says a lot about the condition of the track yesterday i was happy with the way everybody went i'm very happy with the way things went in general. Right, reached out to uh, my wife and James today asking them about uh, how the babies train. For the most part, everybody trained well. We had some breakers. I asked for a list of breakers and I was gonna go with them tomorrow. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do uh, when I get home. I go sleep, get up in the morning, got about six or seven horses that I wanna go with to make sure they're okay, I will, and then we'll go from there. All in all, everything is on track. Uh, the Metal Land supplement sales coming up. You're probably going to see Rooney Blue Chip, Beach Boutique, Bottle of Red end up in that supplement because um, there's a lot of marketability. People looking for horses like that right now. And as I just said, I, I reached out to a couple of clients that own um, that own Jesse Balboa with me and said, you know, they'd asked about these horses and why we were thinking of selling them. I said, when you reach that now, when there's a three plateau, you really got to have, excuse my French, but you really got to have your shit together. You really have to want to move forward, have some talent and be able to use it because hundreds and hundreds of horses do and can. And if you can't, you're a condition claimer. And if they don't offer a condition claimer in your prospective jurisdiction, now you're looking at moving horses to race in a, in a condition claimer. Not something we want to do. When you look at Bottle of Red, she's worth decent money. Beach Boutique, some beach somewhere, mare, pretty decently bred. She's worth decent money. Rooney Blue Chip, again, well bred, now where's a two, now Trotter, worth decent money. So uh, we need to reevaluate our horses, look at what we're doing. Keep in mind, we have 52 year olds turning three that are on their way back in their sophomore season. It's a pretty exciting time. We need to make sure we know who is ready, who, who isn't, who will be an effective horse for the stable, and who won't. The last two are the most important. Who is going to be an effective horse? and who simply won't. We need to know that moving forward, and that's something, that's my job, that's something that we're gonna drill down on over the next couple of months. I think my work here in Pennsylvania is done for the next little while. White Tiger has entered with Hunter, Hunter Myers, uh, won my heart Hanover race, so, so good today. I was just excited about everything I saw, but more excited because I don't think there's a need for Anthony McDonald to be here next week and the week after. Hunter Meyer's doing a great job. I had a conversation with him yesterday. You know, here's a kid that did not get off on the right foot with the stable, but I'm glad that he was given the opportunity to, to redeem himself because I think he's a he's got a decent set of hands. He's a good kid, and he does a good job on the track. So um, I think Hunter and Tim can take over from here on in. I want to start working hard with the babies. I'm sure Larry and a number of other cl clients are happy to hear that. I'll be in town tomorrow morning to work on the ones that maybe didn't do it right today. The drone is coming on Saturday, and I want to make sure that everybody has their best smile on for Saturday's drone, so to speak. The drone will be here on Saturday. The horses race good today. They qualified good. Brave World is in the claiming series in uh, Miami Valley this week. Everything is going according to plan. Ontario threw us a huge curveball, and we hit it right out of the park so far. I'm very, very happy as I drive home to Ontario. I hope you guys are too. Good day on the track. Better days ahead. Take care.